and good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone and uh, those who are listening to me. This is uh, an, uh, one of my morning expressions. Morning expressions, but also you can use the word um, revelation. Revelation. Morning expressions plus revelation. Um, there's an old saying that says that there's some things that are taught and then there's certain things that are caught. Uh, something you can teach people, but there's certain things you can't teach. They have to just learn it, understand it. And the way to understand it is through just applying yourself through um, better yourself. And one of the ways to better yourself is by studying uh, your behavior, studying uh, your steps, uh, studying your weaknesses, studying your strengths. And in you studying your, your weaknesses, you learn how to correct certain things. You learn how to develop um, certain things. And interesting, interesting, the revelation that God gave me, revelation that God gave me, it's about my kids, our kids, uh, my, my daughters. And it was, with school, is all about behavior, especially when they're young, uh, where kids learn how to uh, deal with their emotions learn how to manage their emotions, especially when things are not going their way. And, you know, like with my, my daughter, when it comes to certain things, she's real smart and real intelligent, but there are times when she can't figure it out, uh, she becomes emotional. And then her emotions don't allow her to focus. And so the main thing that we have been doing as parents, and one thing that you should do and should always do and I know I'm talking to somebody. When you want your kids to, to, to learn a certain kind of way, show them that way. Check this out. We all are, are shaped and, and uh, we all are shaped and formed from a multitude of words. We learn from a multitude of words, meaning we're raised from a multitude of meaning our mother and our father, the voices that we hear. The, the most uh, prominent voices or the most important voices that we hear growing up, especially as a kid, as a baby, mom and daddy raising you. And so every day you see mom and daddy, you're hearing mom and daddy, you're seeing mom and daddy. And, and and what that child is learning from mom and daddy is a behavior. They learn how to react, how to love, how to teach, uh, how to be patient, all those things. And when it comes to my daughter's temperament, and the thing about it, as parents, the more your temperament is calm, the more your temperament is appropriate when situations come in your life where things are things are not going your way, chances are the kids, your kids, your students, who, whoever it is that's watching you or that's learning from you, they will develop those same traits and those same habits. Even the scripture says, like uh, when it comes to uh, um, um, sheep and, and shepherd, the scripture says it's like sheep, like priests. The, the, the members, the people that, that listen to the voice of the teacher will always emulate their leader. They will always emulate the sounds, the voice, the example that is set before that is set before them and so in closing there's just some things that that, that god had put in my heart and that is it, when you want certain things to change uh ladies men kids boys girls if you want certain things to change around you the best thing you can do is you change yourself because in you changing yourself what's watching you will see your behavior and when what's watching you see your behavior, then it's going to pattern itself and, and do exactly what is being sent, what uh, what what is being shown, what is being expressed. This is why it's so important. It's so important to be careful of your uh, environment. Be careful of who's around you, who you associate with, because when you're around things and situations and people whose behavior is way what is bad and negative what's going to happen you are going to pick up 
those ways. And you're going to find yourself patterning and doing things instinctively because you allowed that seed to get in you, to get in your spirit, to get in your mind. And then the manifestation of it will show forth and show up in your ways. Is that all right? God bless you and have a smile on you.